Hi, my name is Travis Torme. I'm a criminal defense lawyer in New Jersey. Today I'm going to talk to you about cocaine charges. Cocaine can be a second, third, first degree felony in New Jersey. It depends on the circumstances. All right. A typical charge is just straight cocaine possession. That's usually a third degree felony offense. All right. If you have no priors, you are eligible for a diversionary program called pretrial intervention, PTI, where they will put you on probation, uh, you stay out of trouble, pass your drug tests, and they will drop the charges at the end. Uh, PTI is only available once in your life, so once you use it, you're not eligible again. Now, if you're facing a cocaine distribution offense, that's a little different. Uh, typically, what goes into determining whether or not it's a possession with intent to distribute or a distribution offense in New Jersey are, number one, the weight of the drugs in your possession. Okay, The more drugs, the more they're thinking that you weren't using it just for yourself and you were selling it. Number two, how much money did you have on you? Uh, typical people who are dealing have large amounts of cash. Number three, did you have any scales? Uh, any scales or other uh, paraphernalia that would tend to show that you were not just using drugs, you were selling drugs. Lastly, if your offense was committed near a school zone or public park, this could add to the penalties you're facing. They do have to provide us with a map showing where the crime was allegedly committed, and we can challenge this aspect in court as well. If you're facing a cocaine possession or distribution offense, don't panic. There are a number of defenses we can use in court to try and get your case dismissed or downgraded. First, if you were stopped in a motor vehicle and we can show that the initial traffic stop was illegal, unlawful, or invalid, the case could be thrown out in court based on the fruit of the poisonous tree. This means that the officer didn't have a right to come in contact with you in the first place, and even if it was a legal search thereafter, the case is dismissed. A second possible option is the search. Was it a warrantless search? Do any of the warrantless search exceptions apply? Number one, plain view. Were the drugs actually in plain view? Is there a video? Or did the officer move things around and search your car without a warrant and come upon the drugs? Number two, was it a consent search? For a consent search to be valid in New Jersey, they have to tell you that you have the right to refuse to consent. They also typically have to provide you with a form that you're gonna sign and waive your rights. Was that done? Three, was there a search warrant obtained? Were there dogs involved? Sometimes we can challenge the search warrant and, and challenge whether or not there was enough probable cause for the issuance of the search warrant in the first place. Lastly, if you have a distribution offense, can they actually prove distribution? Just because you have a large amount of drugs on you does not mean that you were selling drugs. You may just use drugs. Did you have a lot of money? Did you have scales? Do they have any phone calls or texts or books uh, talking about the sale of drugs? If not, there's a really good chance we can get the distribution and the more serious charge thrown out and deal with just the straight possession of cocaine offense. If any of these facts potentially apply to you, call my office. And if not, I'm happy to talk to you about the facts of your case and we can develop a comprehensive defense strategy to fight your charges in court.